Hi everyone, thanks very much for your questions. I'm really pleased that you're following the race. Um, I've got quite a quiet day today. It's unusually calm and sunny for the Southern Ocean. Uh, so up behind me here, South Africa's up there somewhere, about, about one and a half thousand miles that way. And um, behind me there, Antarctica's down there, uh, about 2,000 miles that way. So your questions. Okay, the first one was what happens if I have to evacuate. So I'm going to go down below and show you that one. We've got lots of safety kit on board um, and doubled up on everything. So this here is an EPIRB, an electronic position indicating radio beacon. So if I set that off, it sends a message via satellite with my position to the maritime rescue authorities, tells them I'm in trouble and I need picking up and exactly where I am. And I've got a second one there. And then under here, that there is my life raft. Uh, so I have one life raft inside the boat and another one outside the boat. And if I have to evacuate, I set that off and jump in the life raft. So next question was, what's the craziest sea creature I've ever seen? Well, on this trip, actually, I haven't seen a lot of wildlife at all. Um, I saw some hourglass dolphins a couple of days ago, which was amazing. I've never seen them. They're black and white. They look like little tiny killer whales. Um, but previously, I think the really weirdest creature I've ever seen is a sunfish. Um, and I saw those on a delivery I did from Maine, which is in the uh, northeast coast of the US, uh, to the Azores. And, and they kind of, they're really big round dishes and they just look like big smiley faces that sort of pop up out of the sea and then plop back down again. It's very, very strange. Okay, next question was about the waves. What happens when I get really big waves? Well, that's kind of what you expect here. So the Southern Ocean um, is an unbroken ocean. Uh, so it goes, it traverses around the entire circumference of the globe, unbroken by a continental landmass, which means that the waves get really, really big because the fetch, which determines how big a wave can be, is never ending. It just goes round and round and round. So the average wave height in the Southern Ocean is something like eight meters, I think, which is really, really big. So I expect big waves and basically the boat's designed to deal with it. Um, I have to spend a lot of time down below because this whole cockpit area here, all of this, just is full of water all the time and if I was on deck I would just get washed off the side of the boat so when I do come out I have to wear a harness I have to clip on at all times and basically I just set the boat up the autopilot steers and off we go the final question was about my sails breaking and again that's kind of something that I expect to happen so you can see on the deck behind me some of my sails so I move the sails around, they're all kept in these bags. I only put them up when I need them, so I have different sails for different conditions. At the moment, I've got up my downwind code zero, which is the one that says smart sheet. I've got my J3, which is the one that says medallia, and obviously the main sail there. Um, so the sails go up and down depending on conditions, and then when I'm not using them, they go in these bags and I move them around the boat to make sure they're in the optimum position for speed. Now the sails are built to last, but you do expect to have some damage to them. So one of the things I have to do regularly is inspect them and make small repairs. Now if one broke so that I couldn't use it, then I would stick it in the bag and I would still move it around the boat as normal. Um, and the thing with all of the sails at the front of the boat is I've got seven different sails for ideally seven different types of conditions, but they cross over. So I could use an, a, a, a sail that wasn't a perfect fit in certain conditions if one of them was broken. My main sail, however, obviously it's pretty large and I've only got one of those. So I've got a really big job to make sure that that doesn't get broken. Uh, and on board I've got a huge amount of repair stuff so I've got glue, tape, I've got different types of fabric. Interestingly with these sails you tend to glue them back together rather than sewing them back together and then over here just there 
So these are my spare battens, uh, so I can I can fix the sail the best possible, and that's kind of one of the skills that I need because uh, that mainsail is is pretty important to me getting round.